Hey everyone, it's IZ. Hope everyone's staying happy, healthy, and safe. Today, I wanted to make a quick video discussing how to add mods to your RPG Maker Pokemon games. Mods is of course short for modifications, which they can typically add nice quality of life features that don't normally exist within the game otherwise. For example, if you look at my Pokemon Reborn walkthrough, I frequently was able to use HMs with random Pokemon, or that's what it looked like. In reality, I was just able to use HMs without having a Pokemon in my party knowing the HM, and this was done through the use of a mod. So again, it's nice quality of life features. So the first question you might have to ask is, where do you find these mods? And the short answer is Google, of course, but there's a few other answers that you could take to this. Typically, if this game has a form board, or is advertised somewhere, chances are someone on that same forms might be making mods for that game. An obvious example of this is the Reborn forms. They have an entire section dedicated to mods for Pokemon Reborn. And of course, even within the subforms for, say, Rejuvenation, there is also an entire section dedicated to mods for Rejuvenation. Obviously, you might have to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of searching, because even here on the subforms, the Rejuvenation subforms on Reborn forms, I'm going to have to look into the guides and resources section. I'm going to have to scroll down to, say, the mod pack thread. But you'll find it if it's there, if it exists. You will likely find it if you search hard enough. Once you find it, or the mods that you want to install, you want to make sure that you read almost everything on here, at least skim through it carefully. And once you're certain that's what you want, obviously download it. So once you've downloaded your mods of your choice, you should end up with a folder that looks like this. You'll have a scripts file. It might not look like a notepad file for you. In fact, I'm pretty sure it only looks like that for me because I tried to open it with that. I was curious. And you should also have a file with all the mods of your choice. You may also have some instructions somewhere. In this case, it's going to be in here. These are pretty simple. So from here, you want to take the scripts file and you want to copy or you want to cut that file. From there, you want to move on into the folder where you extracted your game at. So this is where it's at for me. And you want to move into the data folder. You want to actually paste the scripts file straight into the data folder. So when I paste this, it's going to bring up a little box right here that should say, replace the file in the destination or skip this file or compare the info for this file, you want to replace the file in the destination. Once you've done that, you want to make a mods folder in here, just in case you don't have one, you might have one already, and you want to take the actual mods that you have and just copy and paste them in here. Also make sure that if there's any extra assets that needs to go here, like for instance, you have the item finder mod right here, it has the RB file, and then you also have a PNG file that goes with it. You want to make sure that PNG file goes in the mods folder with that RB file. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I know this is really, really short, but thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps. And I will most definitely catch you all on the next one. Peace.